Kobe. A soccer player would throw the ball farther if they took a step and threw the ball because I feel like the momentum, like going forward, will make the ball farther. So ultimately, what our goal is, is we want the ball to move as far as we can in the X direction. In order for us to make that happen, we need to increase the amount of velocity we put on the ball in the X direction. So, when you're playing soccer and you take that step forward and you're actually having a velocity of your body and the ball, and then you throw it, you're actually transferring that energy from your body to the soccer ball and that therefore makes it go further and is very useful when you're playing soccer to get it down the field. First calculations we'll show is how far the ball will travel without the body um, moving. So the assumptions that can be made is that omega equals 11.3 radians per second. Um, the arm is a rigid body and all weight is negligible for this. Measurement R, which is the length of the arm, is 6.4 meters. And then delta Y is 1.25 meters. And then G is acceleration due to gravity, which is 9.81. So then we move over here to solve for VB and we use the equation VB equals omega times RB. When we plug in the calculations that we had, we find that VB equals 7.23 meters per second squared. And then to find delta X, we first need to solve for T. So to solve for T, we first have to use the equation Y equals Y naught plus V naught times T plus one half GT squared. And we solve for T from that. And then when we plug in the numbers, we get T equals 0.714 seconds. And then we plug that into the equation delta x equals vb naught times t. And when we plug those numbers in, we get delta x equals 5.20 meters. When the body is in motion, we can have the same assumptions except that va equals 1.25, which is the velocity of the person stepping forward. Omega is still 11.3, r is still 0.64. G is still 9.81, and then delta Y is still 2.5 meters. So then we use the equation to solve for VB. VB equals VA times VB with respect to A. And when we plug in those numbers, we get that VB equals 8.48 meters per second. And then we use that when we're solving for delta X, but we first need, to, we first need T for that. So we use the same equation as before, but V naught times T is gonna be zero, so you can neglect that. And then when you plug in the equations, you get that T equals 0.7139 seconds. And then when you plug that into delta X equals V V naught times T, you get delta X equals 6.06. .06. That just shows that with the velocity of someone stepping forward, that will give you a greater distance when you're throwing the ball. Thank you.